Imagine you're a homework and you fall and you hear a big fucking bomb go off. You would freak out, dude. <laughs> that would terrify you. You'd be traumatized. It would almost be as traumatizing. You'd have PTSD, but be funny. It would almost be as traumatizing as when Nikki was lying on the couch at the office and she was sleeping and you bent over and literally farted into love her me. mouth. Love and she me. got, she woke up love immediately me. screaming. Let me, let me give some context because I'll go. There is no I'm context. A, I'm in a cycle context. right about now, okay? You, fucking, you weren't, that was the... Fucking sociopathic. Wait, were you drunk? No. no. Was drunk? He was horny, dude. He had a boner. He walked over to my desk and was like, hey, check this out. He walked <laughs> over and he just spread his ass. So like, here's what really happened. Here's what really happened. happened. It was 1130 a.m. and she was wasted. Okay. She was wasted. And then she passed out of the couch and Mick and I Mick was like, ah, oh, we were screaming in her face. She was a she was a she was a rock. She was dead. She was passed out, blacked out. And I was like, oh, she looks cold. <laughs> so this was an act of but, sympathy on but, your part. No, wait, 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 wait. I did not fight to warm her up. That is false. But I did get her a blanket. Nick saw it. This is it true. was a good act. Yes. And I thought, wow, she's really dead asleep. And I looked at Mick and I was like, check this out. <laughs> and I fought it. I got it. I put my ass right about close to her face. I, it wasn't even a big exposed fart. It was a little cute toot. <laughs> Yeah, but it was, it was like, from and, then, mouth. and then she it's rose a, like a fucking like like those Feratu. She rose like a, like a vampire. <laughs> we said it was true love's fart. And, and I was fucking like woke true her up. She seriously, her yeah. eyes, her eyes shot open, and she crossed her arms like a vampire and sat up. And I was crying, laughing. She kept hitting me, and the harder she hit me, the harder I laughed. And the harder I laughed, the harder she hit me. Boy. Jaxie, that's terrible. You are a renowned farter. <laughs> Tell us about your past. I've been journey to the top. Whole time, actually. <laughs> Tell us what to the, the journey to the center to the fart. That's what we're asking about, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Is it just a, a constant ripple? The legend. Tell us the legend. The legend of Jaxie's fart in 2012. I don't know. I'm, I, what do you think? I've been Jaxie this was whole a dark, time. You guys tell, don't even know it. Tell mm. us about the time that you were in the dark dungeon late at night all those years ago. And you put your legs behind your back and you farted. <laughs> And it sent a big ripple through the dungeon, and all the goblins and trolls died. They fell like they fell like flies in the winter. And you said, "Victory!" Tomorrow is Jesus, the I goblin version. Yeah. Tomorrow is the More goblin like Jesus. I cured goblins. Biggest yeah. religion in the world. Third, Scientology. Do you yeah. think? Second, Christianity. Do you think people would still be Christians if Jesus was a goblin? Like that was the only thing different in the whole Christ, like the whole Christianity, mm -hmm. just that Jesus was a goblin. You can't prove he wasn't a goblin. He could have been a goblin. That's a good theory. Take this to take this to the scientists. The scientists. Goblin Jesus. Was, was Jesus a goblin? <laughs> Question mark. Look it up. Oh, wow. I hope spirit science proves it. <laughs> Some say when he got poked on the cross, his little goblin tongue stuck out like a snake, and he hissed. Laugh <laughs> <laughs> now, and I will return one day. <laughs> And he turned into ashes and flew to the wind. <laughs> Which, why do all of our stories like a spiral like the wind? <laughs> Dude, if, if, if they had it in the Bible, if they had like an amendment at the front page like Jesus is a goblin. <laughs> I would totally be a Christian if, if Jesus was a goblin now. There could be like a like a hidden passage somewhere in the Bible no one pays attention to. Yeah, like on yeah. page 40 because everyone gets tired of like and page now, Lord, the goblin And Jesus went scratched his yeah, fucking tongue. And, yeah, and, yeah. And, like, yeah you know, Jesus, just... Jesus laid back and scratched his goblin titty. It's like, whoa, what? What does that mean? Yeah. All of our loyal <laughs> listeners, look through the Bible, find goblin clues. Yeah. Control F, the PDF of the Bible, and type in goblin, you'll find some shit. <laughs> Nicky, let me ask you a question. Like the type of guy, like you, like you see a guy like in a mic cupped up, and he's like, uh, yeah. "Hey, baby, I'll make you explode." <laughs> Do you a fuck him or b fuck him hard? My vagina. Da, 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 da. My vagina turns into Niagara Falls. So he has this like notebook. He's like fumbling through the paper, and he's like, <laughs> he's like, I got to go right here. Yeah, he's like, Did you hear one about that creeper explosion? Oh, God, I already told that one. <laughs> what about them skeletons shooting arrows? That's weird. They have bones. Oh God. <laughs> I, I might have to kill him. I have to like pull out a knife and. What if he dodges? Throat. What if he dodges? He starts powering up. The yeah, machine. he's like, hold on, I got sixty more. Get, let me get through. What if he turns into Red Goku? <laughs> turns into Red Goku. Yeah, explain that story. It's not Red Cole, Goku. Cole, you fucking. It's zero. not Red Goku. It's God Goku is Red Goku. Ex no, explain. Or Ko Can Goku is Red Goku. Nikki, explain what Cole did a couple days ago. No such thing as Red Goku. We're out to dinner, and Zach says, "Are you Red Goku?" And Corey looks at his shirt. He stares like bewildered. He stares at his shirt. Like, no, I was like, Corey. He looks like he has a stain on his shirt. What? I was like, Corey, are you Red Goku? No, you gave me like a this, bright... This went on for about five minutes. Yeah, Corey, I asked you if you were Red Goku. You gave me a blank stare. You look really concerned. You looked at your shirt. He was like, what? And I was like, are you Red Goku? And he's like, what? I thought I was wearing a red shirt. I was like, what are you... We, we were, everyone was baffled. We were like, what? Like, he, 
Oh, Corey. I have, I have no idea <laughs> Do you guys why. Ever look I, have, I don't understand this story. Do you guys ever look around and look at the people, like, trying to enjoy their meals, like, out on a <clears> date <throat> with someone, and they could just, you could see how uncomfortable. I always worry about that, like, every time we go out. Yeah, you're always part of it. You, no, I'm not. Because you, you are. I'm not. I'm always good. I had the gosh, I've always seen it. You were screaming the other night in a restaurant yeah, you or something. Screaming you were screaming, Goku. It's like, are you right, Goku, or not? <laughs> well, no, I remember we were screaming, you and me were screaming about... Like a, a family guy at Jimmy Neutron crossover. Yeah, yeah, Jeff was like, ugh. And we were like, Jeff, if Jimmy Neutron came to the, to the family guy universe. Sure. Uh, we had to be sure to rope Jeff in. That's like, exactly what I Jeff, like. what'd you do? Seriously, Jeff, serious question. You wake up, you hear, oh, I'm in the Jeff, no, I'm in Jeff's world now. Jeff, and he takes, you see his hand, he puts his hand out. <laughs> like Peter? Jeff, come to the Jimmy Neutron world. Neutron. world. Jeff, see all my cool you inventions. Guys, you guys are shooting up all these Jimmy Neutron characters. I didn't know if you were fucking with Jeff, me or if what would it was you real. Do? Sheen? What'd you Carl, do, what I do? He Goddard, puts, yeah, he's like, he's like, come to the Jimmy Neutron world. Cindy, oh, I Jeff, politely look, decline. Jeff, you wake, you wake up, guys. Can I even t- tell my friend Jeff a question? Jeff, <laughs> it's, it's a, a hypothetical situation. Jeff, it's not you a tell question. Me. Jeff, Wait. what? You you sleep in the dream of like Minecraft updates and stuff, <laughs> right? <laughs> And yeah, you, no, 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 Jeff, you have to feel pressure on your penis and be like, ooh, what could that be? Yeah. So, like, what is it? You wake up, Cindy from Judy Trudge, rubbing your pussy against you. Who? She turned, uh, Cindy from Judy Trudge. She's, she's a 10 year old girl. She's like, she's yeah. a hot blonde. She's one. like, yeah, well, can we give me that dick of yours? <laughs> Come on, Jeff, answer. Is that what it sounds pussy? like? Yeah, answer it. Carl comes in, he brings in his Aww. llama. I'd be terrified. I'd be terrified <laughs> if there's a, a She looks just like she does in the show. Okay. Wait, go. Jeff. I, I, Jeff. What do I even say to Jeff. this? this? Just Jeff. say something. Carl, Carl comes in, he brings his llama. Aww. Hi, Jeff. She comes you in. Guys, you guys are shooting in Chinese. In, okay, 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 wait. Okay, <laughs> okay, wait. okay, new segment. Hypothetical Jeff questions, yes? <laughs> Jeff. Yeah. You're playing Minecraft. Yeah, right. Can I laugh? You're, you're just lacking <clears throat> and trolling everybody. You're just like laughing because you're killing everyone. It's like you're, you're just griefing everybody. That's it. I'm griefing? Yeah, you're griefing. Griefing. Mark, griefing. Okay. You, you, see a, you see a character with a familiar skin walk into the game. He's like, hey, Jeff. You're like, could it be? He says, yeah. Markiplier, <laughs> you pass out, you wake up. He's like, it's me, Jeff. It's not, it's not an apparition. <laughs> it's like, he puts out his hand. He's like, Jeff, come to the real world with me. <laughs> do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, answer! <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Jeff, the sun is beating through his I golden I lines. I had a goddamn lost word right now. Reaches for his voice booms over the beautiful music playing in the yeah. background. <laughs> you drop your pickaxe and move. <laughs> <laughs> You fall to your knees. <laughs> the creepers don't even follow you. They're just waiting. <laughs> They're staring at you. It's like a off. Lion King thing. <laughs> the Endermen look on in silence. <laughs> okay. Okay. Paul- I thought you were going to say it's Paul Blart. I don't want to do... No, no. <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you were going to do a Paul Blart thing. <laughs> yeah, here's a question. Why don't you guys go see fucking Paul, Paul Blart Mall Cop 2? We it's will! Out. We will see it's, it's, it's not good anymore. Really, dude, I heard, I heard it's like bad, but there's a really like good scene in the middle of it. Like it's a really like well choreographed like rape scene. It's really emotional. Like he's fucked up. I heard. <laughs> Holy like shit. he corners like like apparently there's like a new hot like generally. And she's like, hey baby. And he's like, I'm gonna rape you. This is real life, bitch. You're gonna die tonight unless you comply with my demands. Oh my but it's like really well done though. Yeah, no, that, it's you know totally it is? left field, dude. It's no, fucked you know up. It it's- Should we all tell a father story. Yes. Can your dad do backflips? Yeah. My dad's story is I went to McDonald's when I was a baby boy. Your fucking story is made up and stupid. It's, this is true. This is actually true. Mm. I went to McDonald's when I was a baby boy. McDonald's. McDonald's when <laughs> I was a baby boy. McDonald's. And I was in a ball pit. Yeah. My old man sitting there throwing balls at me, playing with me. <laughs> and some big buff dude runs in. Says, is that your ugly boy there? Is that your uggo son of yours? Uggo? Uggo. He pointed at me and said, uggo right <laughs> there. cool, dude. And my dad said, what the fuck did you say, you freaking dumb crap? And the guy goes, what did you say to me? My dad does a backflip. The guy goes, my, my, the guy goes, you, you could do a backflip? I'm out. Walks away. Jeez, dude. My dad gives me a big kiss and we, we went home. All right, let's talk about, uh, let's, let's go back to Christmas. This, this is a Christmas special after all. I was trying, I was trying, do you have any interesting Christmas Christmas memories, Zach, that don't revolve around presents, Christmas uh, dinner? Something relatively true. I this is absolutely yeah, true. Yeah, you know it, does, no, it doesn't it involve beautiful... monkey barring around your dad's wiener. That's true. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna flash you back, Zach. 
A little flashback. <laughs> when I was a little baby boy, only age, age, age oh, six or seven, go. perhaps. It was a Christmas day. Mm-hmm. I woke up. Oh, I woke up. That was great. <laughs> I, I opened the windows. I said, "It's Christmas." I shouted that it echoed out the city. Uh-huh. It's Christmas. I said it a second time just to make sure everyone heard me, so they knew in case they forgot. Mm-hmm. It's Christmas. Uh huh. And we said, "Shut up." <laughs> That's what I said to him. But then the the real story begins here, Stamp. Because guess what happened? Mm. Went to my grandpa's house. Stayed over at his house with my cousins. Mm-hmm. We went into his. Into every his, story that uh, every we went, one of your lie stories no. involve either your grandpa or your cousins. Listen. I wish I had cousins. Listen. Did, okay. We went into his room. We snuck in like the like the grim who stole Christmas. Mm-hmm. We, we we opened that real? we opened we opened the cup his top dresser drawer. When he wasn't in there. Mm-hmm. He was God doing something. Mm-hmm. Pornography. Merry Christmas. You know the Home Alone face? Mm-hmm. That's what I did. S- slapped your little cheeks? Slapped my little cheeks. Did a little old Also face. a big vibrator. I don't know if it was his or my, gran- my grandmoms. Uh, hopefully did your you? grandmoms. But anyways, they found yeah. it. They, we, we, they found it they, we closed it freaked out. They found it askew, if you can believe that. Then we got yelled at. Then I cried. Wait, when you were seven, you wouldn't even know what a vibrator was. A liar. Well, I did. It was dick-shaped, like my big fat dick in my pants. Little pink and had little nubs on it. Just like my dick. <laughs> Anyways, they yelled at me, they're like, why'd you go to my stuff? And I was like, who shoves that in their pussy slash ass? I want answers. And I interrogated them. Mm-hmm. That's a true story, but I really did find pornography and a vibrator, and I cried. Mm-hmm. So that's a Christmas story. Also, another one is... So you found porno. Another one, another one is my Welcome brother... Welcome to childhood. My, I, I got the same year I got the Nintendo DS, my brother asked for a, a little motor, a little pocket rock, a little motorbike. And um, he got that. But then he was like, that DS is mine. I was like, no, it's not. Like those gas-powered things that go like yeah, it's 60 like a little miles bike. an hour? Yeah, it's a little tiny one for kids. Yeah. And my, my brother was like, that DS is mine. I was like, no, it's not. He was like, no. Santa gave that to me. It's mine. I was like, no, it's not, you fucking liar. You got a big motorbike. That's all I got, you little fag. We argued. He was like, he like made a, he had like a temper tantrum. We argued about it. So he wanted both of them? Yeah, he thought it was his, too. I was like, it's not yours, dude. It's mine. And you got nothing for Christmas? No, it was... The DS was no, mine. that's what I mean. That's, that's what he assumed. It was like, he yeah, gets all was, that. And yeah, we argued about that. Brother's a dick. Yeah. We argued about that for a long time. Is he handsome? You could say that. Is he more handsome than you? He's more handsome, but his dick is weird looking. <laughs> Zach wanted to do something, yeah, like, yeah. For, for podcasts. Okay. Because apparently I'm really stupid. Um, You're they not! Wa- Shut up. They wanted to ask me hist- you are then. Jeez. history questions. Okay. <gasps> okay. History they questions. wanted to ask me a history question each podcast. Okay. Or, or, like, a series of three questions. Yeah. So, really, you should do the honors because you like... I, I have a question. Ask me, ask me a social studies question. Okay. I'm not going to have this part. one. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Who is the Prime Minister of Canada? Uh, is the Emperor? <laughs> You're yep. close. Yeah, that's actually very close, Collapse. That's very, surprisingly very close. close. Wait, what? You said, what did you say, his, Damper? His name starts with an S, his first name. No, he said name. the Emperor. Oh, you said the Emperor. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, I thought you said something else. You, you're completely <laughs> off. Yeah, I, I went, and then you guys went, wow, he's right. And I was like, oh, now I feel I like thought he's. <laughs> I thought, I only heard like the last four letters. Oh, that's that's kind of close. Okay, so what, what, his, name, his first name starts with an S. Sam Demper? Corey, you're, you're so close. Corey, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I said, I thought you said Demper, and I said that wasn't it, but that was close, and you just took what I said and used it. What? I, you said Emperor, and I said, oh, you said Demper, I thought that was no, close. No, I, I didn't. I didn't even But now, I'm saying, now you just said it, now you said Demper. Yeah, you said Demper? That's history questions with this <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Help it. So, Steven so Universe. Steven Universe. I actually get irritated with. I tried to. I tried to give the first episode a chance. Steven Universe. And I'll try is to. Terrible. I'll try to give it a chance. I talk to people. I talk to people, and they're like, the whole first season, where they're like, oh, uh, what's his name? Steven gets better, and I'm like, yeah, we still an annoying fat kid for the first. The first half. episode, he's like, hey, I love donuts and pizza. Yeah, it's <laughs> annoying. I, 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 I have to turn off. I, I know. I know. The whole first season of Steven was just like him being a fucking idiot, causing like big mass disasters and I'm like oh he's a quirky fat kid it's like it's not funny stupid because he caused all the problems and I'm not gonna feel sorry for some fat stumbling idiot who's trying to be friends with everybody but they're like no in, in the later seasons he grows a character arc it's like if your first fucking season is him being a dumpy idiot then I don't care about your second season <laughs> fuck your shit <laughs> he's like oh boy you just made me a popcorn necklace and he drops it in a fucking portal and then a big alien comes out he's like well do you want a popcorn necklace also <laughs> it's like the theme is popcorn necklace and that's all he does. They're like, Steven, you fat fuck, look what you did. And he's like, hey, we made popcorn necklaces. They all laugh. That sounds hilarious. And that's what it is. He's he's cool. just... He commits me to watch it now. <laughs>
<laughs> have you ever escalated a situation to avoid a different situation? Like, have you ever seen somebody be a weirdo so you just try to out crazy them so they leave you alone? Mm -hmm. I did that recently. I was with Chris and Al, we were going to Wawa. We saw this guy oh my God. by a Papa John's in a pizza outfit. <laughs> we were walking to uh, Wawa one day, mm -hmm. and uh, like, uh, there's a Papa John's between our house and Wawa. And when we were walking towards the Papa John's, we noticed there was a guy in a pizza outfit doing a dance. And he's kind of going, hey guys. And, and, you, and we... he was giving it his all. He was dancing. I got the feeling we were like, oh, he's and totally as we got closer, we, as we got closer, there was no avoiding him, so we were like, oh god, he's gonna do something. And he saw- he even saw us going like, oh, for fuck's sake. And then he still, kind of like, sadly, but like, hopped over to us. He, he was like- So, I- so I saw this guy, I was like, this guy's totally gonna bother me. He went, hey, you want some pizza? And I'm like, I love the pizza! Yeah. I love the big pepperoni! That's and exactly what he said. Immediately, he stepped back like, and did- <laughs> <laughs> He immediately he held his exactly. hands up like, whoa, 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 whoa. So this guy just skipped on over to us, did a dance, he goes, you want pizza? And Zach just goes, I love the pizza! I want the big the pepperoni! <laughs> the guy- the and guy immediately guy fucking panicked like he actually away. panicked. He- you could see he was visibly frightened, even though he's wearing a pizza outfit. And he like backed off and just didn't. And then like when we were walking back, he was still there. And there was he avoided us that time. He avoided us. He, he just didn't. So that's my that's my solution. If everyone's like being crazy, but just out crazy them, they think of a psycho. Zach, you do alone. that anyways, because we went to Giant the other day. And we were walking in. We were walking into the door. Zach like he, he got this weird burp and he just went. <laughs> and then a fucking girl walking by just looked at him in disgust and kept walking. <laughs> this girl like a ponytail eating yoga was like, Ugh. she looked looking at us like, but I was like, I was far away from her too. It wasn't was, like in her fucking ear. You screamed ear. it. You went, Ugh. no, I went, <laughs> I went, I went, like an I, idiot. I, I really went. Ugh.